gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. It wasn't in any way psychotic and over the top, so sit down. <laughs> you haven't scared me in any way with your completely unnerving enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited to see you. What? <laughs> Ooh, I felt a, a frisson of enthusiasm. <laughs> a frisson, yeah, look it up. It's a French word, I think. Anyway, look, it's, uh, you look it up in your French thing. You've got your little tablet there. The tab tablet is what you call an iPad if you're CBS. But it's a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? Go, go, go. It is, it is a little, I'm talking a bit like William Shatner again. It's not such a great day for one American, a man in South Carolina. This is true. A man in South Carolina was busted for being a roadside prostitute. Now, here's the thing. He's 74 years old. 74, look, hey, looking for a date? And he was charging people by the hour, although it took him 45 minutes to get into the car, but an hour. And by the time the police arrested him, he'd made $200.25. The cop said, who gave you 25 cents? He's like, everybody. Now that's an old joke. That, that last bit is an old joke, but the rest of it is true. <laughs> Where are you headed? Anyway, it's not just about aged prostitutes like me. It's also Valentine's today, everybody. Yes, it's Valentine's. To the lovebirds out there, happy Valentine's Day. To single folks out there, congratulations on not wasting money on overpriced garbage. <laughs> To our studio audience, I wrote you a poem. Aww. Wait till you hear it first. <laughs> Roses are red, daisies are white. I'm sorry you didn't get into the Price is Right. <laughs> yeah! No, 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 no. Just because I do it doesn't mean you have to do it. Oh, I did spitting there. That's attractive. It's always nice when someone comes on TV and goes. <laughs> Anyway, I, I would give you some Valentine's tips, but if you're watching the show, clearly your Valentine's Day has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Do you know what I find insensitive? That Sports Illustrated put out their swimsuit issue out today, on Valentine's Day. That's not, it doesn't seem appropriate, this magazine full of photographs of busty young women and, that, you, not today. That's like handing out free bacon and Passover. It's not the time. <laughs> It's nothing like that, but never mind. Anyway, the most popular Valentine's Day gift, of course, is chocolate. Now, the tradition of giving out chocolate started in the 1800s. Doctors told their patients to eat chocolate to get over a broken heart. That's true. Hmm. <laughs> and they also thought that if you're going to be alone, who cares if you get fat? <laughs> Which is still true to this day. Chocolates are definitely better than those little candy hearts. I hate them. They taste like asbestos and they're stupid little messages. I'm yours. Be mine. I'm too tired for sex. Uh, <laughs> who let the dogs out? <laughs> but a recent poll that I just made up says that 25%... No, it's a real poll. It's not. It's some crap I made up. But the re a recent poll says that 25% of Americans say they would rather spend Valentine's Day with a pet than a lover. No, no, don't, oh, no, no, no. So if you don't have a, a furry animal to spend time with, do what you, you, you can do what we do in Hollywood, rent a Kardashian. <laughs> 25 cents an hour. 
I still wouldn't pay it. <laughs> some guys say that, you know, guys, some of, them, some of them say that Valentine's Day is just a holiday created by Landmark or, no, Landmark, Hallmark. Yeah, Landmark. <laughs> yeah, Landmark. Wait, wait, what? Are Landmark a store or something? You know there's a store in Scotland called Landmark, but I don't think they invented Valentine's Day. They might have done. <laughs> I'm way off point now, haven't I? <laughs> Hallmark, yeah, Hallmark! Uh, they, people, you know, some guys say you know, it's a Hallmark, but it's not. It is, maybe, I don't know. Look, the bottom line is this. Valentine's Day gifts don't need to be complicated. You can easily surprise your wife or girlfriend simply by getting her some sexy lingerie. And you can surprise her even more by wearing it. <laughs> Got you something. <laughs> 25 cents an hour. Now, historians say there were at least three St. Valentines. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the back row to catch up. That's all. <laughs> Three, yeah. There were three. Uh, one who was a, a Roman priest who was beheaded. Another was an Italian bishop who was beheaded. <laughs> and the third uh, Valentine was a priest who secretly married couples during the reign of Emperor Claudius II. But don't worry, he wasn't beheaded like the others. He was at first beaten up and then beheaded. <laughs> Right, hiss me. I, I'm the one that did it. I beheaded St. Valentine. <laughs> well, I'm not you. Well, I'm Emperor Claudius II. That's right. I might as well reveal my disguise. I'm Emperor Claudius II, who everyone has thought had been dead for, what, 1,700 years or something like that? <laughs> what is the average retail price? Never mind. I... A lot of people think Valentine's Day has become, become too tenacious. <laughs> Oh, maybe they're right. <laughs> you know, somehow we've forgotten the meaning of St. Valentine's Day. The reason it speaks to the romantic dreamer in us, of course, is because of uh, Cupid. That's the psychotic winged baby that shoots people with arrows. <laughs> Comes from the Romans. I know all about that. I'm Emperor Claudius II. <laughs> but uh, Cupid was their god of love. Anyone who shot with Cupid's arrow would be seized with an unquenchable desire for sexual business. <laughs> 25 cents an hour. <laughs> Nowadays, we don't need to be shot by an arrow. got a little pill for that. <laughs> you just odd, you odd me for boner pills and... I'm, you know what? I wish I hadn't made up a point for you now. I hate you! You ruined St. Valentine's Day! I gotta admit, the idea of Cupid kind of scares me. I'd be freaked out if there was a weird little baby over my shoulder trying to shoot me with an arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> put, some put some clothes on. All right. Put some, get, get out. Go on. Put some clothes on. All right. <laughs> By the way, uh, thanks for the chocolates, Jeff. I told you not to mention that on the air. No, you didn't. You didn't get me chocolates either, you bastard. <laughs> Thanks for the greeting card from Landmark. <laughs> it's, it's a mattress store in Scotland, I think. I just remembered Landmark of Inverkeething, if you must know, which is a small town outside Hamilton in Scotland. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day from oh, Landmark. Happy Valentine's Day from Landmark of Inverkeething. Here's your little candy heart that says, get off me already. All right, you ready? Sure, why not? Roses are red, violets are blue. It's time for commercials. I bid you adieu.